and extra extra for joining our team um, also we have our card making class uh, on Tuesday yeah on we Tuesday. do uh, and next week we'll be doing our pop-up cards class with the Daisy Lane uh, end of the month uh, but every second and fourth week of the month we have our monthly card class in basing stocks so if you know anyone who is interested um, share our page YouTube uh, Facebook and that'll be amazing uh, um, Barry is just setting up if our internet's working is we've had problems uh, every evening with our internet currently um, so it's always quite slow and last week our oven actually uh, made a big bang <laughs> Yeah. Whilst we were cooking something, so um, it's all a bit of a, so a hectic bit of a, day. Um, uh, we were meant to have our oven um, installed, but some electrics. So it didn't. Happen. Some electric problems. <laughs> okay, I can't seem to get over onto YouTube. Okay, um, we may have an issue. Let's try that one now. I think so, yeah, my phone is. Hi oh, everyone here on YouTube. Sorry, we're just going live on YouTube, and we're on Facebook as well at the moment. So we're just trying to share the link for everyone. Um, to get you all up and running, um, so that's good. But I'm having a few issues here, so Jay can just talk to you all. I don't know what to say. Oh yes, uh, so <laughs> I'll be doing the spinner pop-up card, uh, which I blogged with the Creating Kindness design team. Uh, this was the original, so it's it's quite old, um, and I can't open it one-handed. Let's have a look. That, that's a bit live now. And then it goes like that. So a lot of people had problems following the the no talking video, and we've had quite a few requests uh, regarding the measurements and things like that without the rectangle stitch framelit. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be keeping it quite simple with regards to decorating it, and so it'll hopefully it'll be quite quick. Uh, but the main thing is the mechanism as well. So I'm actually going to change it up slightly and it won't be exactly the same obviously as that one um, because the produce are prone and I won't be I'll just be doing some stamping and obviously punching with the coordinating medium daisy punch which you can get as a bundle with the daisy lane stamp okay All right. I have just Arby posted the link um, okay so on our Facebook down here we, I've just posted a link for you, um, so you should now have the link direct over to our um, over to our YouTube channel, which will then take you to this top one. Okay, <laughs> you want to take over so I can All right. up. So that's it, so let's just um, get ourselves sorted and switch around. So yeah, have a quick detour of our, um, Hi, of our living room. Okay, we'll just move around now. Yeah. TV's still on. Yeah, TV's still on, that's it. And let's just move you over to there. Okay. There we go. So we are now live. All right. So um, everyone here on, I'm going to stay on here on, on Facebook for a little bit and just tell you, um, but head over to my YouTube channel and you will see the, um, you'll see the actual recording. You can probably start flipping the camera down now if you want to. Right. Do you want to hold this and I'll do that? That's fine. <laughs> So technical things, this is when you try too many things at once. Right, I'm going to zoom in. Here we go. Right, so I don't know who we've got on here. Who have we got here at the moment? Right, so sorry about that. Um, this is going to be the card that I'll be making or a variation of this card. Um, so when you open it up, it comes out with a, a nice surprise. So I've been playing around with some with some blanks and this one is the original. So I'm gonna be doing I'll be showing you how to do it um the other way around so it'll go actually on the top. And I've made it slightly easier. So um hope well I think it's easier, but we'll see. So um let's get our stuff on. So as we said, um, it's been quite a hectic day because of the oven trying to be installed but not getting installed, but here we are. 
So as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> but there is some sort of organization. I have managed to uh, prep some stuff for it as well because so uh, I wanted you to see or uh, I wanted to share the actual measurements in metric and in centimeters. Okay. Right. So we have So the card base is um I've slightly changed it up so it's kind of like it fits the US let letter size and the A4 UK size or EU size. Um, so the height is 14.5 um, by 21 centimeters. So that is five and a half by eight and a quarter, I believe. Yes, eight and a quarter. So it just, I know that it fits both uh, UK and US sizes. So that is smoky slate, um, eight and a quarter by five and a half. You will need so this is for the mechanism i had another one so you'll need two cardstock um i've done it the same the same as the card base three and a half by one inch you need another one by three inch by three quarters of an inch and another one at half an inch by half an inch so that's in the met metric something imperial i don't know <laughs> something so in um centimeters so two of the same nine nine centimeters by 2.5 eight centimeters by two and four centimeters by four centimeters although i have cr created those sizes i will be using that um the inches just because i have the score simply scored which is in inches okay so I will do the stamping first. Okay, no, I'll do this whilst it's here. Okay, so we have. You know what I'm yeah. So the three and a half by one inch score at one inch, two inch, three inch. Okay, the other one you keep for the arm that comes out. The three three inch by three quarters you score at three quarters one and a half two and a half yeah no <laughs> two and a quarter that's it so three quarters one and a half two and a quarter okay our windows are open because it's quite hot in here every but... time we go live we always get a motorbike garden right <laughs> And then finally, you have the one and a half by one and a half. So that goes in three quarters. And then turn 90 degrees. And then three quarters up to the half line. Does that make sense? I'll go through that again. Uh, so the three and a half. One inch, two inch, three inch the three and three quarters three quarters one and a half two and a quarter and then the one and a half square three quarters and then turn 90 degrees and three quarters up to the halfway point okay so whilst we are on here the three and three quarters cut hairs we are going to make a diagonal score lines along there. So on our scoreboard, we lined the halfway point of 6 inch. Um, and then you can just basically, let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. Line up the bottom and then the top. And then score. Okay. Same goes. So we're creating the V. Line up the top and the bottom. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. Oh, okay, that's you. <laughs> okay, so that is that. Fold that in half and then fold that in, in both sides. Okay, open it up. Push the middle bit back. 
and then point it outwards okay so you will have that okay that is that and then for the what's this one one and a half square uh, we are gonna create an L a mirror shape L if that makes sense and so you're got, gonna cut basically that off to there okay so cutting halfway point and then taking that off hi Rhonda thank you for joining us and then this one you can actually just bend it over and that will help a little bit later okay so those two are done and this one you just basically um, bone fold um, so it just goes into um, cube ish more like Ooh. okay so that is your pieces right onto the card I'll quickly go through this one so the metric ones you will score at um, two, two and a half. Bear with, bear with. Two and a half, five centimeters, and seven and a half. And then you will have the eight centimeters by two centimeters. You will score at two, eight, two centimeters, four centimeters, and six centimeters. And then you basically will create the V, if I just try and do this, the V in the between, those two. And then the four centimeters square, again, you just cut off the end. So score at two centimeters, turn, score at two halfway point, and then take that off. Okay, hope that helps. Uh, I'm gonna create the card with a bit of stamping um, as usual I haven't actually made the card uh, so I'll be doing it on the fly surprise surprise, surprise. <laughs> so I'll be using some whisper white to stamp the flower Just get me whisper white, please. Hi, Carol. Thanks for joining us. All right, Bar's gonna get me whisper white. So basically, I've I've done these daisies, and I will show you how I've done them. So it's fairly quick. Just a whole piece, um, which is quite cool. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I've done that. So you'll need balmy blue and blueberry bushel. Balmy blue, blueberry bushel. And you will need the daisy. Okay, so with the balmy blue, you just basically stamp that as is. So I'll do a couple and then punch that out with the medium daisy punch. Sorry, the washing machine's on as well. Yeah, didn't really plan this well tonight, did we? It's a whole, it's a whole oven thing. Yeah, it's, it's, thrown, it's, out. it's thrown, thrown us thing. out. So we had the electrician and installation come in at just gone nine and then we had another electrician come in or friend. a friend <laughs> come in probably at four yeah. just before three or four there you go they're quite easy to align with the punch and what you'll then do is uh dober so we've labeled ours with the blueberry bushel. Right. 
So we have blueberry bushel on the door bar. Just tap, tap it on the ink pad, and then you can either lay it on the on the table and then go in like that. So then it just creates a nice outer edge color or you can lift it up on your finger and then do it that way that does create more intense color because most of the ink from your dauber transfers onto the card so you can see the difference between that and that so um but if you want a gradient an a gradient ombre i guess <laughs> Uh, transition you can do that on the table first and then lift it up after which I'll probably do so ooh, don't do that <laughs> right I'm trying to be um, as quick as I can but hopefully you guys get the idea um, without having I'm trying to sit down and Minnie is on my seat. Ooh. There you go. And I can't I can't really see. Hi Oakfield Crafts, Fiona. Thank you for joining us. So that one. Yeah, I'm liking my blues um, as well. And blueberry bushel is one of my favorite colors at the moment now that lemon lime twist is gone but granny apple green as well so okay so a second one no that's that was my first one right the second one is here right okay next one i'll just quickly do is that really loud is the washing machine really loud can you close the door then please so Barry is on the other end um, so he's doing the commenting so say hello when you join us so we know that you're there um, there you go you can see my nails it's gum blue <laughs> right so there you go that's quite cool all right so to create these are basically just cut um, cut it in half first and then cut one off okay it's dinner time for the cats and then cut that into and then what I had is the old olive marker with the uh, what's that called not the fine tip the broad tip uh, the brush tip that's it uh, just basically create some lines and then color the bottom bits the ends I guess <laughs> it is slightly fiddly and being live it's kind of like there we go that that will do that will do okay and now we have combo so to hide the end so I actually have hi Baron J hi Eva thanks for joining us so just do a dot at the end there it's easier to lay it down so I, I want it um, the petals quite quite no with odd petals even and then press it down there you go and then we'll do the same for this one so put a uh, glue at the bottom and then lay down the two on top okay if you want the ends to be sorry i keep having to take it off by that um my fingers are quite dry if you want to just um 
tidy up the end so what you can do is if I see if I can there's a, a bit of paper uh, edge there so you can use that as a guide and just go down and then curve it up towards the next end so it just goes like that and do the same for this one there you go and then to shape it I just use the side of my paper snips so it's this one And then just use it. obviously not the open. Just do, don't open it. Yeah. Don't cut Start yourself. The in there, but yeah, close scissors. Close scissors <laughs> or the side. Uh, yeah, don't do what Barry did and cut yourself. Not doing this side. That was no, that was but panic. that, that was that's just crafting. snipping. I snipped my finger on stage. Okay. And that was a palaver. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fun times, fun times. One plaster, about five forms. So those are the two that I've just done. I don't know if I'll need to use that, but we'll see. Okay, so we have that one. Where's my other one, Barry? I don't know where your other one is, Jeff. What are you looking for? I have no idea. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm gonna do the stamping on at the front because obviously as soon as you put something inside. Uh, that will prevent you from stamping nicely at the front. So we have the stalk. Stalk. Which is there. So I'm just, as I said, I'm just going to try and keep it simple. Um, but you can make it as elaborate as you want. Keeping it simple. That's a hard thing for me to do. Uh, so pear pizzazz. And I'm literally just gonna, so tap, tap, tap. Don't smudge, smudge, smudge. <laughs> bash, bash, bash. Um, so I'm just gonna create two uh, stalks on top. So I'm keeping in mind, obviously, the bottom end there. So I'm just gonna do that. So that ends out of the card. And then I'm gonna have another one here. Just offset it and slightly lower, maybe there. And then what I'll do is, once everything is in place, I, I will just do a couple of those. And then a sentiment there. So that will be the front. So it's quite simple for me. Uh, so let's get on with the inside. So the three and a half by one inch. So basically that height is one inch. You're gonna be sticking that on the left um, side of the card. I created the mark at two inches from the top. Yeah, two inches. So that is about five centimeters, okay? So I'm using Tombow. Uh, you can use red tape or whatever you prefer. If anyone has any questions, just ask. Sorry, that was Barry. No Loving the daisy cut the down. Well, oh, you're seeing it I'm there, seeing it you? on here. I'm I'm actually standing up crafting, so I can see the screen. So that's the. Two inch down so you can either have it laid down on the right side of the spine so perpendicular to the spine and then just close that down can you get me embossing body just in case I so embossing body is great uh, because Tombow is a multi-purpose liquid glue so when it dries it leaves it tacky so you can re what you call it we stick it down <laughs> Repositionable. Repositionable. That's the thing. Uh, <laughs> Just in case. So if, if you do 
accidentally put a lot of um, glue down use your embossing body and just um, I haven't but just to show you you can just take off the tack okay look my nails are blue um, so now that is done that is stuck down okay so if you fold there so fold it in the second score line and then uh, glue down that panel right now. Let's see. Glue, 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 glue. And then you stick the back down. Just leave it a couple of seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, and hopefully it's done. If you do get a bit of like resistance like that, you could always lift it up slightly and then re-stick down and bone fold it. So then you know it goes flat and then it, that should go flat as well. Okay, that's easy, right? Easy so far? Following so far, hopefully. Um, Sorry, it was a bit of a hectic start. I didn't realize we were going to go live on both at the same time. <laughs> right, so that is done. So you have the three inch by three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. So you've made the, the, you've created the V-fold. Uh, and you're just basically going to fold those in. Okay. And then that will go out. So this height will stick onto there okay i'll add the glue and then i'll show you how to stick it down is anyone else loving the daisy lane we seem to have used it quite a lot uh the last couple of months which is great because we got it for free and we're using it so so if you lift right if you lift that up and then rest that along the side there oh no i was gonna do it that way do, don't do, don't do what i said <laughs> do it this way two inch okay i'll do it this way yeah so um i'm actually gonna do it this way so do the left one first because I'm doing it upside down, I forgot. Sorry. And I'm just gonna align that along there. So, yes, that's fine. So, yes, yeah, so push it in along the right edge and then fold that down. Okay, so that will pick that up. And then with this one, if you fold it down like so, so you had that. Does that make sense? So you had, so you're basically pushing that up and then down, and then you'll have the point that way. Okay. Point that down and then lift. Ooh. I'm trying to get the best light, sorry. So you're basically lifting that up. So that is up like that. And then you are go just going to close that down. Yeah. Yeah, that made sense to me. Okay. It makes sense to all of you. <laughs> Please let us know and Jay will just explain it again. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll make another car. <laughs> so that is done. And then you have the... What is this called? The arm? <laughs> Lever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, arm. yeah, that's it. And then that will go that way. Towards the top. Okay. So you are only putting glue at this point in that small triangle space. 
Okay, let's do that now. And then this is going across. So I'm just aligning it there for easiness. Why are you laughing? Barry's laughing. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Are you laughing at me as well? Easiness. Easiness for easiness. <laughs> That's correct. For I don't know. So basically, I've made sure that the score line, the card is to the right of the score line, so it's not touching that when it moves. So when you when you close it, it just moves. Ta da! There we go. Um, that's as far as I got. So I am just doing this on the fly. I did make... Um, okay, sorry about the bike again. So I'm gonna use... Broom, broom, broom. <laughs> so seven... Oh, I, it's here. So for the panel, I'm gonna do four and a half uh, inches by three. Or that's three by four and a half. And it's 7.5 centimeters by 11.5 centimeters. So that one you just basically, you have that to glue on top of. Um, but I'm gonna stamp something on there first. So let's do the fern, the fern is good. Um, and so I've used, I'll do all the olive. Oh yes, please. I can see you putting something in it. <laughs> Right, let's do this. Let's do this. So because the arm is gonna go that way, um, let's do some furniture, furniture on top and at the bottom. Um, yeah, so foliage, I said furniture. <laughs> Why not? Right, tap, tap, tap. Um, and I'm just gonna do first, second, and then a couple more. And then what you can do as well is I'm gonna do it at the bottom. Right, close second. <laughs> second. <laughs> there. If you want more depth at the top and bottom, just use the, just ink up the tip. So, um, use the edge of your ink pad and then just add a bit more that along the bottom if you want if not then you don't have to all right i'll just do that on here oh i've done all of it never mind <laughs> it doesn't matter because uh, it's coming off anyway. There we go. Right, that's all right, right? Yes, we are needing the die for the fern stamp. A die for every stamp, really. Somebody has their carols just there. Oh, yes. Right, so that is done. And what sentiment was I going to use? He was going to use smile. It's your time to shine. Oh, yes. So the arm, so the other three and a half by one inch, that is actually for the arm. So before I go ahead, oh, that is way a lot. Why is that so much? Ah, I know, okay. That's fine, okay. So. Oh. <laughs> I'm starting to think that's quite long, uh, but if you close it down, it would just be yeah, still too long. Okay, do it as, I'll do it as three. I think that's what I got confused. Right. So I'm just going to cut that down to three. So what's the new measurement on that then? So that will be three inch by one inch. Sorry. Well, it, it was just easy. I thought I was like, oh yeah, that's easy. Three and a half by one inch, two of those, that'll be fine. But no. <laughs> but then you can have it and then just cut it afterwards, like I'm doing now. <laughs> right, so that one, you're just basically putting glue on top there. There we 
go. And that is done. So as you can see, it you can have it longer as long as it's not as too far down. Uh, because that one, it doesn't matter, but obviously that one. Sorry, I keep moving. There you go. So I did actually stamp the It's Your Time to Shine. I, I'm trying to keep all of like the stamping from Daisy Lane. So I thought at the front we can have Smile, um, It's Your Time to Shine, or you can have Friends, the best moments in my life happen with you oh that's nice um, so what shall I do where's my ad where's what's the stamp any, any sentiment. ideas or sentiment so what is the center on my time to shine there yeah what sentiment are you looking for the one that I actually already stamped well I put one back in the um, cabinets back in there because it was on an ink pad Oh no, that's fine. It was on. The, it, it was already stamped. Uh, so I'm just gonna stamp. Uh, it's your time to shine again. So this one is quite small. Uh, what is the measurement of that? That is one point two, so probably half an inch. Yeah, half an inch. So I'm gonna have that and time to shine in memento. Let's hope it's right. All right. <coughs> it's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Um, there. Yes, Carol. We made uh, Jay made this one for the with the frogs um, once before. That's all right. That's um, all right. Didn't you? This is where yes. the, the frogs one come from. Um, obviously, yeah, we have done a video for this already, but it was it wasn't a talking video, was it? No, it wasn't. So it was. Um, it was just. So, so I'm just gonna. Video now. I'll let him carry on. Sorry. Yes, so, Barry. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick that on there. Now that all of the mechanism are in place. And then you just make sure that you stick it down. So I'm aiming for the middle. And then I'm pushing it in until it goes down. Okay. And then when you lift, so sometimes it does come out. So it, that's why it's good to have like liquid glue. So you can just reposition it as well. Uh, please, you have done it again. We'll try to get it right this time. My other one went haywire. Oh no. So hopefully, yes. So this, uh, the cardstock and the measurements hopefully is much better because the other one you have to snip in, fold a couple of things. Um, but yes, so hopefully. Really it a little bit. Yes, I have. We all like a little bit of simple, don't we? So this one is done, which I do struggle to do, yes. So I'm just going to have a couple of the flowers as well. So I'm saving two at the front. So two at the front and then two inside and I'll do something with that. So I've just created that from earlier and shall we have it's your time to shine and then just a couple of flowers there. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Well, I need more flowers. <laughs> right, bear with. So I'll do this. So I'll quickly do the balmy blue again. And Barry, Barry can probably do this while he's there. Yeah. I can do something. You can do stuff. Yeah. Dedicate. You want me to punch, don't you? Yeah, punch and color, please. Punch and color. Yes. I didn't see how you colored at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone tell Barry yeah, tell what he needs what he to did do. At the beginning. I wasn't watching. So you need to punch. Yeah, I, Can you 
do one and then I'll do the others. Yes. So punch. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Get punch. it? Good. Punch, dober, and blueberry bushel. Dober bushel? Blueberry bushel. What are you like? Oh. There. Dobe. Are you looking? No, I'm not He's not even watching me. How rude. There. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And that's it. Okay, that's easy enough. Yeah. See, I told you it's easy. And you want four. How many do you want? As many as you want. <laughs> I don't know how many. Really? Um, well, I've already got that one's already one. So maybe a couple more. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Do you need that? Yeah. Thanks. I need the sand as well. You need everything. There you go. <laughs> So while Spar is doing that, we can decide what we're going to do here. So um, with these, so you can... This wasn't part of the job <laughs> No, it wasn't. <gasps> Put glue at the back. And then offset it, so then you'll have a full daisy. Or whatever blue flower that is. I also like to do the shape the flower so you can do it again like before I'm just doing the top flowers quickly so it's, it's moving slightly because of the liquid glue and then use your knuckle to go like that or if you have uh, a block I guess <laughs> use anything if you can't do your knuckle use a marker there you go it's quite nice but it's gonna get flattened anyway so I thought that's going to go um, in the middle and then it's going to go up towards the right. So let's just get this sorted. So you can cut down obviously if you don't want it as thick but uh, you can have it to have, you can have as big as you want so then it you'll have something to stick the, stick the uh, flowers on or the sentiment so I'll probably do one flower there so we have yeah we'll do this one um, Yes, please. So that's one, and then we can have one there. Oop, that is way a lot. <laughs> way a lot. <laughs> right. Far too much. Way a lot. <laughs> Far too much. <laughs> way a lot. It's way a lot. There we go. Um, and I'm just going to do it down there. Okay. Oh, no. Why am I sticking? Don't stick it on there and there. Stick it just on the gray. There we go. Um, embossing, <laughs> embossing buddy. Way a lot. <sighs> and then that's just gonna go underneath. So I'm just gonna cut that down. And then stick that there. Okay. At least your liking, sir. They're right. No kidding. They're they're great. <laughs> yeah, get slap in a minute. They're amazing. Thank you. Fabulous. Right. Yeah, that guy is not joking. He probably doesn't like it. Oh no! Look. So that's a bit out. So that oh, one. Shoot. Hmm? You got him stamped in blueberry bushel. You stamped in barley blue, didn't you? Oh, uh, yeah, that's no, fine. Oh. So Barris losing his seat to a cat. I have literally just lost my seat to a cat. Right, I'm gonna do it that way. All the cat beds in the house, and where do I want to sit? 
the seat you're sitting on. I need that a bit more. I didn't. I wanted the third petal, but it's gonna have to be like that because when you close it, you can't see it. Okay. So that's done. That's done, and I'm just gonna do a couple of flowers here and there. I think yeah, that's enough. Barry. Right. Right. Maybe. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll cut, I'm cutting it, one, two, three, there you go, I'll cut it, one, two, three, four, five, yay, that's another way of doing it. So Barry wasn't paying attention well, earlier. What's that done? No, I thought I wanted them full, but I changed my mind. I wanted them um, shaped or separately. So you don't want the full flowers anymore? If you just do it one at, one at a time, that's fine. I don't I don't need any more. Okay. Sorry. Did I say I didn't need any more? You said do as many as I want. Oh okay. So well I, I can only cover as much. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cover much. Can I? Right. Okay, last one. Don't do any more. Right, I'm just gonna, so you can sometimes obviously ink, ink the middle as well, but because the green is quite strong, I'm just gonna color in with my marker and go ahead, do it that way, because why not? <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice. I guess, but I had green. Green to hand. There you go. That that looks alright. And shape it. And then stick it. You guys still with us? Thank you so much for staying. Nearly there. Okay. Oh, can we show our, our project I um, that we're going to do in our pop-up class or to save that? Let's save that one. Okay. So we can show what we're doing next class on Tuesday. Okay. So I'm just going to do a couple of those and there. Oh yeah, that's true. I'm just going to add a bit of leafage. <laughs> leafage. <laughs> so garden green that's what i had to hand but choose your own colors if you would like thank you that's amazing look what barry did it's good isn't it oh that's nice with about that's the blueberry bushel yeah blueberry bushel so with blueberry bushel this is uh just to show you the difference so balmy blue boo 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 blueberry bushel blue blueberry bushel with blueberry bushel and this one i was playing around with it this one wasn't stamped at all that was just punched and then blueberry bushel on the edge so you have loads of different um looks there uh, i quite like that but i wanted to show off the the stamping so yeah i punched that in the leaf punch and then i'm just gonna do that <laughs> The leafage <laughs> do that and then so I don't want it to go over there because when you close it so you just need it somewhere there so I'll just do that one again that's way too much 
So if I'm going to have it there, so you can have it, the two points of the leaf, just off that line there. So if it, if, if it moves it, there you go, another leaf, maybe at the bottom. So I'm just going to try and get another one. And then cut that end off. Have I lost my seat again? There we go. And there. And then I'm just going to stick that in the middle. Yeah, I didn't want to add gems to it because obviously you want it to close and that's already quite hot. Lift, lift it up. And <laughs> stop laughing. Um, Ray, stop, stop, that's it. <sighs> what are you like? You and your English, Barry. <laughs> Sorry if Barry hasn't commented. I. I Got him exactly to do some working. stuff. Yes. He's got to pay me overtime now. This right now to Lisa. No, I didn't. Hi, Hi Lisa. Lisa. Sorry. From Canada. Thank you for joining us. Sorry, I missed you. There you go. It's like floating away. <laughs> right. Any more for any more? Have I only created two? Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. So that's that. And then just finish off the front with, oh, sentiment. What did we say? It's your time to shine. Smile. You're on camera. Not anymore. Right. Smile. And I'm just going to, did that move? That move. No, it's nothing there. Yes, it is. So if that's going to be white. What's going to be where? There, there, and then just smile. I'll just do it in black so it's all in one. So, yes, I'll do it in black. Okay. Just a quick thing. I just wanted it there. Obviously, you can raise it up again, but that should be fine. If you're stamping up there, that won't stamp properly. <laughs> singing. You're singing. What are you singing? You raise me up. Okay, don't sing. No. <laughs> <laughs> and smile. Okay. Smile. Yeah. There we go. And lastly, we are just going to add these there. And there. There we are. Thank you, Sue. So that is that. I'll, I'll just tidy up a little bit, clear it to the side. <laughs> I know. There we go. There we go. Like it's brand new. <laughs> <laughs> right thank you so much so that's the card um where's the original so this is the original beautiful creation jay liking less petals i will share for you both and we'll have a go myself yes please have a go thank and carol. and share uh to our facebook page carol so this is the old one so it goes down this is the new one so slightly simpler um and it goes up cool and um hopefully i'll get my act together and do the the cake one there is the cake for card yes yes it's this one yes yay um so thank you so much um did you want to show you the class projects yeah. quickly so yeah so if you Yes, please, Lisa, uh, try it. Um, 
share on our Facebook page um, and share the videos to your friends on Facebook. Is that what we're doing? I thought we were doing that oh, one. Oh no, it's not that one. So this was part, uh, this was the original and Barry did another one for the Gentleman Crafters Design Team blog hub. Huh? I see. And this is one of the two. This is one of the two. And um, Barry didn't. We, we've got the other one on. Love it. You guys are a, a hoot. Oh, thanks, uh, Rhonda. Um, so, yes, yeah, so Barry created another one. I need to watch. Oh, <laughs> a hoot. A hoot. A hoot. <laughs> <laughs> read it well it disappeared from my thing from that thing from the screen sorry um <laughs> i was just speaking to barry but yes yeah, so this is barry's um, card with the wo woven heirlooms woven heirlooms heirlooms yes potato potato <laughs> mitosu mitosu <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, so this is, we're going to be doing this in class, and if you would like to see how Barry did one, uh, another version is on the... No, it's actually that version, wasn't it? No, this is the original, isn't it? No, this is the new Oh, this version. is the new version. Oh, okay then. <laughs> um, yes, sorry. Um, so that is on our blog, uh, the cre not the creating, the Gentleman's Crafters Design Team blog hall. Okay. Uh, and the video here is on YouTube as well. Yes. And it's on the block. Yes. Cool. Thank you so much. Are we going to go back to You're going to go to face. face. Okay, Barry wants to are we are gonna... give good face. Oh, excuse the mess. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Oh. And we're back. Right. Yes. All right. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Ooh, yeah, it's very glary. Oh, there you go. That's it. Over that side there. Cover your face. That's better. Um, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. That was um, that was our lovely video. It's a little bit hectic. Sorry, we're a little, we're a little bit new to doing these videos over on YouTube. So um, I think you felt like you got a little bit stressy at the beginning, didn't you? Yes, I, I did. I didn't like the Facebook and the YouTube no. at the same time. If we are, so, I reckon maybe we will in future we will probably still keep it here on YouTube, won't yes. we? But we probably won't go live over on Facebook first. It got a little bit, um, got a little bit confusing. So that's it. There's the card which Jay has just made for you live. Um, hope you enjoy it. Please, uh, please comment, please share, um, and any of the items which you've seen you uh, seen us using here today. So, for example, the Daisy Lane, that one there, the Daisy Lane stamp set, or the Daisy Lane pun. Medium no, Daisy. Not that one there. That's uh, that's a leaf leafage leaf punch. punch. Um, I don't know where I put the thing, but oh, Medium Daisy. Medium Daisy is there. All of these items are available to purchase from our online shop. All right, so if you like it, like what you see, then um, and you want it, you can shop with us. If you do shop with us, remember that there is, a, there is also a host code for you as well. So if you use that, and then anyone who uses that code will get a little extra something from us in... August, wow, yes, August already, August. nearly. Um, so yes, yeah, so make sure you use that card. And obviously, and you can shop with us if you live obviously in the UK. You can also shop with us if you live in France, Germany, Netherlands, or Austria. Um, I, I didn't use your um, no, acronym. No, I, right? I, I don't. I don't normally use. So, um, so yes. So that was that. I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything. To. Thank Spend you so much. Spend £45 or more. Jay's probably just done that. Spend £45 or more and you get you get the bonus days voucher. So you get a £4.50 or €6 Euro, um, voucher to be used next month. But I think you covered that at the beginning, didn't I just you? said bonus days and extra extra. Okay, but didn't explain what they were. No. No, because lovely. They, 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 All right. they'll as, be on our website. As Jay didn't explain what they are, um, bonus days, if you spend £45 or more or €60, Euros, you um you you get a voucher for either four pound fifty or six euros to be used next month. The extra extra is our um is our recruit is our is our jo basically our join our team. If you've been thinking of doing it and you've got lots on your wish list, then you can um, you can choose one hundred and fifty five pounds worth of product for ninety nine pound. And I'm afraid I can't remember the euros. It's one hundred and twenty pound, and you'll get I can't remember what you can actually use. 
All right, so that's that. Uh, if anyone's interested in that, you please contact us. Um, and yeah, we can we can discuss that with you a little bit further if you want a little bit more information. Um, apart from that, I think that is it. Yep, that is it. Right. Thank you again for so, joining us this week. Yeah, thanks again. And we will see you and next, next week. week. Are we? Oh. Do we have something next week? Well, well, we'll if we're not live, we'll put a video up. We would do something, but I, I think we are live. I don't think we've got anything planned. Okay, I oh, thought yeah. we were going out. No, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ta -da. You know. Ta -da. See you next week, hopefully. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. There we go. How do we stop?